y'all. So I am up super early today. I had to take my brother to work. So I am going into Wawa to get some coffee because I am out of that and getting gas because we will be going out of town today. So the day has started early and it's official. So I got these two coffees. This one I normally get, but I love hazelnuts. I can't wait until they have pumpkin because it's getting cold out. So we're gonna try this one today. All right, y'all, so this is the fit. We are gonna wear this little Fashion Nova blazer. Very nice. Um, and we are going to wear these pants. I lost some weight, so I'm hoping that they fit. I don't even think I am this wide anymore, to be honest. I've been losing weight um, by fasting during the day, so we'll see. But I'm going to wear these. They're either going to be tight or they're going to be loose, but we're wearing them anyway. And then I'm going to wear this little bodysuit underneath the blazer. So that's the fit. Oh, let me get the shoes. Okay, so for the shoes, I like these because they're just like really comfortable, really smooth. Um, so I do like these, but I also like these because I feel like these match better. But what I will say about these is sometimes, I don't know, sometimes they're kind of like a bulky. Oh, I need to clean them right here. Oh no, that's just a shoe. So sometimes they, the bulkiness of it, of it make my ankle like twist. I don't know. It could just be me because I've been wearing a lot of flats lately. So we're probably going to go with these though. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I am at Empire Beauty School and I am here to speak today. I am a guest speaker. Um... And I'm so excited because I am here to motivate these girls and tell them my story, you know, going from a social worker, full-time social service director of two facilities, and now esthetician for the last five years. So um, I'm just really excited for this opportunity. Um, they asked me to come in and I also will be doing a demo. So I am going to try to film as much as possible so I can show y'all, you know, what's going on. All right, so make sure you're locked in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just thank you for following. All right, bye. I guess, yeah. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over, tasted and call me, still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody Well, hello guys, um, thanks for having me My first um, two years I took my, my daughter with me I uh, graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology So I do have a BA in psychology and fast forward, after doing that for a while, I needed some type of side hustle. I had a lot going on. I had turned and I worked my way all the way up to a director. And I had my own staff and everything. And you think, you know, it was great, but I got burnt out after a while because people would come in and they weren't professional lashes that I liked. I'm like, everybody got spiders on their eyes and I was just like I don't want to do lashes I don't want to do lashes but people kept asking me to do lashes so how many people here want to own their own business okay let's talk about disputing so to see thing that's going to count is what you use your card your business card go ahead do you use like QuickBooks or something yes like that? yes so use QuickBooks to track your mileage from to and from work, from going to go get something to eat, coming back to work, that all counts. So use use that. Um, you also wanna do bookkeeping. So get you a calendar book and every day, whatever comes in, you're gonna gain so many points because you're using that credit card all the time. When you go on trips, business trips, or when you go to the beach or whatever, you use your points. You can use your points for that. 
So make sure you do that because that's a mistake that I made and I learned that late and now I'm like cleaning up. I didn't know when I first started, I didn't know I had to track all this stuff. I didn't know I had to, I knew I had to save receipts, but I didn't take it seriously. So last year, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Last year, I did my taxes. I was working, I lived in Maryland, so I was working in Maryland. I was working in Redding and I worked for myself. Boom. Track everything, write everything down. Go ahead. So as cosmetologists, mm -hmm. we should do the 1099 or we have to? If you were. You're automatically a 1099 unless you're getting paid hourly. Like if you were if you, mm -hmm. oh, if so you're, I, my own so I think it about, so like when you go into a business or when you went into your business, what did you invest in first? Because obviously it took time for you to get all your supplies. Like lashes. Lashes first? Mm -hmm. So I started with strictly lashes first. And then I inched in facials, but you gotta master something first. Mm -hmm. Because like if you do everything, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, it gets a little crazy, you're running all over the place. Don't move on to the, I gotta, so still click Empire Beauty Professional uh -huh. at the bottom. And you're gonna book, you're gonna book that. So I have your name, your email address, your phone number, that way, I know who's getting this. April, which day? Seven. It's not Yeah, so it's not, it's okay. not available. But How far does it let you go? Eighth. Eighth. Oh, April 8th? Yeah, so the Monday. Yeah. Two days. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Wait, the, the class is two days. That's what yes. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Eight for, with a discount? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, all the now, you just gotta do something for me though. You just gotta do something for me. Okay. So put your chin up. Okay. Okay, so first when you do a facial, um, you wanna look at the skin and make sure you can see clearly everything. So usually we have like a, like a, Bring what's the name? Room. Yeah, something yeah. like that, that we can really look, um, you know, we're in one of these chairs. Usually you're like on the bed or something a little bit higher, but we're gonna improvise. Um, and you're just gonna analyze the skin and try to see what is going on with the skin. So, the skin is very, very nice, but I can see right off the bat that the skin is dry. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't moisturize today. Yeah, you, you didn't moisturize today, and this is the indication right here. You see this? No dirt. No, it's white. It's, it's, dry it's, dry skin. Skin. it's dry skin. It's dry skin. So here. You can see right here, it's a little white, you know, it's a little rough. So that's the first yeah. indication. And then if you go here, there's like a dry patch here. Did you have a blackhead or something here you are picking? Is that the one I told you to pop? Probably. Yeah. Okay, well, so cheap. right here. Yeah, I know we only popped on your nose. So right here, there's like a little dry spot. Who does she look like? I think like? Issa, maybe. Who? Me? 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 <laughs> Mess. No, not you. Who your sister? Just, just, just. Me, not you. So, um, and then on the nose the here, future. there's like a little bit of black spots. So we know there's blackheads. Okay. So what is what? The first question you're gonna ask is, what do you use at home? African soap. You use African soap. Is that yeah, something that you use every day, day and night? At nighttime. Okay, do you have any targeting concerns with your skin? Um, on this side, mm -hmm. I'd be breaking out. So you break out on this side? Yes, like <coughs> only on the sides of my face, though. Okay. Like, never the forehead. So I see that it's your pillow. Your yeah. hair is very nice. Do you get your hair done Literally. consistently? <laughs> no, I just Wash got it done. Okay. Wash your pillows, yeah. So it could be hair products, because this is close to the edge of your face. Mm -hmm. So it could be hair products. Um, but if it's only on one side, it could be your pillowcase. You probably need to wash your sheets and stuff at least once a week or twice a week. Um, because our skin sheds. 
Our skin sheds all day, every day. We all have all this crazy stuff on our bed sheets, on our pillowcase, and we can't even see it. So you want to wash that stuff consistently because that plays a major role in stuff, you know, breakouts on our face. Brittany, what if people yeah. say, um, oh, I shower before I go to bed? Does that matter? Who no, said that? No. Oh, you <laughs> sure. No, you it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't change you because you're sweating in your sleep. Um, mm -hmm. You know, are you exfoliating? Like, you can shower all day, but yeah. if you're not exfoliating, you still have dead skin. Just like the face is washed every day, there's still dead skin here. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. So, exfoliating. Mm -hmm. Exfoliating is very, very important. You need to be exfoliating your body, your face, your poom poom. You need to be exfoliated, especially if you're getting, <laughs> especially if you're getting Brazilians, because there is when you do Brazilians and there's hair. Sometimes there's hair that's trapped in the skin that we can't get to, but we can see it. There's literally a clear coat of skin over top of pieces of hair. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get it. But if you take a tweezer mm -hmm. and you start scraping, that piece of hair pops right out because you don't, you're not exfoliating. What do you recommend exfoliating with down there? That's not going to irritate it. Cause so, mm -hmm. right. So I always say just use Dove Sensitive and don't let it get inside. Your circular motion, dry brush only once or twice a week don't overdo it because when you over exfoliate the face the body whatever you start opening pores mm -hmm. so don't over exfoliate okay so two times a week would be good to exfoliate yes yes okay. mm -hmm. if you have really good skin and you really don't have no issues and you're going to see your esthetician and like everything's good and you're only exfoliating once a once a week or if you go get waxed and they're like your skin's good then you could do once a week. You don't even have to do two weeks, um, twice a week. But once or twice is good. Okay. All right. So, so we established here that the skin is. You can leave it. You can leave it for now. Um, that the skin is dry, and I think you're a picker. Are you a picker? Because what about right here? Because if it's a scalp, I'm picking. Don't pick, because when you pick, that's how you leave marks. There's already mark creating right there there's already a mark creating right here why you want to mess up your beautiful face there's already a mark creating right here i can clearly see where you pick <laughs> it'd be so called out it'd be what tempting like I oh just... my god tempting, <laughs> tempting. Yes. okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our oil cleanse and we're gonna do two pumps of that and we are just gonna start from the neck and the decollete. Y'all just feel good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't even just <laughs> just and that's one thing that you do want. You want your client to feel good. So however you like your facial or massage or whatever, that's how you wanna do it on your client. You can have clients that feel uncomfortable. Usually the men, they're like, oh, uh, uh. you know, they're like, they don't know what you're doing. They're like, oh, I never got a facial before or whatever. Um, but you just try your best to make them as comfortable as possible when you're doing the facial. You let them know, like, this is my job, you know? You don't have to feel uncomfortable. This is my job. I have a question. What about men that have, like, beards and stuff? How do you so that? when you cleanse the beard, you wash the beard just like you're washing your hair. Mm -hmm. You're going in the beard. You're making sure that you're exfoliating. Um, you do want to have beard oil. You do want to make sure a lot of estheticians don't even have anything for men. So you do want to make sure, because there's not there's not that many products for men. Um, I personally film. So sometimes you got to create your own products or you have to do a little bit more research for men products. Um, what I will say is that the men can use the same thing that the women use. You can use the same thing. This stuff is not geared to just females. So you could you could definitely use the same thing. So like I see like some men that have like um I don't know if it's pimples or something, but like 
like ingrown hairs mm-hmm. in is their beard. Is that it? Like the, the yeah, that's side? because they're not exfoliating. exfoliating. Yep, mm-hmm. their beards are dirty. So you have to think about when some of them smoke cigarettes. So they're so good, uh, you know, that's getting in the beard. They're eating, dropping food in the beard. You know, they're just yeah. yeah then you so in the beard. Beards are they really neat. They look nice. I love but they're beard. somebody was calling. Yeah, I love it. Okay, but <laughs> you know beards are, are nasty. Really clean, so you well, have to do your best cleaning the beard. You got and you have to teach them. Mm-hmm. Like you have to come. You have to come back to me. Like you have to come back, or you got to do this yourself. Nine times out of ten, they don't want to do it themselves. Mm-hmm. So they gonna come back. Mm-hmm. And make it make it nice. You know, give them something that smells really good. So we're gonna wipe the face now. See, that's what we need instead of the spray bottles. Well, uh, the right? If she saw and the way we were doing it, I should have took a picture. <laughs> so this mark over here is so much looks so much nicer than what it just looked. It was just crusty, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> it was just crusty. <laughs> it was dry. <laughs> and now it looks so nice now. She said no offense. It was crusty. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, crusty all, is we all be crusty. Hey, hey, split. My husband, yeah, my husband is crusty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's always going. Wait, 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 wait. Because it, it'd be like getting caught. Oh, yeah, mine too. And it'd be hurting, even though I got it like you know two years ago. Yeah, it's still hurting. Yeah, it's still not like hurting like oh fresh, but like hurting like. When you snap. I got a corkscrew. It's not like straight up and down. It's yeah, gonna yank. Yeah, that's a mine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's not mine. 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 So, gloves is your preference. Mm-hmm. Does anybody get facials in here? Do you like gloves or no gloves? I don't like it when she used gloves. Okay. Like, like I just, I don't know. I don't, it feels weird. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, so I, 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 she just, you know, I watch her and she cleans her okay. hands really well. And then she does it. I feel like it just, the friction on skin to skin is just so much better than the yes. actual glove. So... I don't usually ask my clients because I know that my clients are coming in for a really good experience. So I think that touch is the best experience. So just when your client comes in, wash your hands. Wash your hands in front of your clients. So go wash your hands, scrub them in front of your clients, let the clients know that from the back. Because then the first thing they're going to say is, ooh, she's clean. Always wash your hands. Um, um, thank you for coming. Um, we're about to get started, but I'm just gonna wash my hands quick. That good. Another thing you can do is have some type of aromatherapy. Either get like a hand sanitizer. So, so when you put it on there, like <laughs> you, you kind of want to prep them beforehand. Okay. So um, you always want to make the client feel good. So I usually do no gloves. All right. So now we're gonna use our foam cleanser. So How the water. Would your you, uh, An hour. Oh, that's like the best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd probably be sleeping. Or is this just like a demo? Yeah. So, like 30 minutes today? However long. Oh, yeah. How much time I got? This An hour. Question. <laughs> 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 what time is it? Mm-hmm. We leave at 4 30. Okay. So you want to kind of like plump up the skin and stuff like that. You're plumping up the skin and everything like that because you're trying to get the blood flowing. You want to get the blood flowing in the skin. You want to break down any toxins that are in the skin. So you want to apply a little pressure when you're doing it to check and see if your client is dehydrated. You're going to go to the forehead and you're going to start pinching. And if you see lines, which I don't, it would tell you that there's some <laughs> signs of dehydration. They need to drink more water. Mm. You, you, see lines in you the will forehead? see lines in the forehead and they won't, they'll stick. They won't that cranberry? Yes. Oh. Cranberry. 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 Yes. Do you have yes. wash out tools? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> so you can it's use gua sha, <laughs> um, but when you do gua sha, <laughs> If you're offering that, you definitely want to offer that as an add on. You just let it roll through your. Do you hear what she said? Washer. I don't know. I was just. I have a short hair. Yes. 
because that's like the specialty <laughs> Chinese tradition you want to incorporate that in a facial and charge more because you're deep puffing you're deep puffing you're sculpting like that's like you know somebody might be going to a party the next day or going to a wedding and they're like I want my I don't I want to deep puff I want my face to look chiseled or something like that that's when you're going to use gua sha some people just like to get it just to get it that's the one I use so because since we don't have extraction tools we'll do the gua sha piece we'll do the gua sha piece next so with the gua sha tool what you're doing is lymphatic drainage everybody knows what lymphatic drainage is okay so we are dealing with all the toxins in the body and trying to drain that out we want the puffiness to come out the face um um so after you get a facial you purge that's what you have to explain there's a difference you're not breaking out you're purging what your skin is doing it's trying to get rid of what shouldn't be there you now put plant oils on my skin you put a chemical pill on my skin you put vitamins in my skin you put all this good stuff in my skin and now my skin is like okay my skin is like literally like throwing up like trying to get that stuff out you know <laughs> I just lick my lips. It's edible. Oh. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> and then you can hand me another towel. This is our last towel. Uh, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Everyone thought that was an autoclave. Like, You're the one that called it autoclave. I thought it was. <laughs> I don't think they would have that. That's an expensive item. <laughs> that is not cheap to be up in here just sitting around. Mm. I just want a hot towel. Some hot rocks. You could do hot rocks on a facial. Really? Yes, yeah. you can. Mm -hmm. They just massage water. with them too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you have to get your certification to the rocks. Like how big are the rocks? The rocks. They're like, mm -hmm. like I usually do the rocks. Like it depends on like the person. Yeah. Big tipper. Let me give you some hot rocks. Yeah. <laughs> what does it feel do? Someone says that they're having pain. Let me give you some hot rocks. Hot you never had hot rocks ever? Not on my face. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the same so thing amazing. like on your leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. on your like back. back. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do have to make sure though that they're because they get really hot. Yeah, they do. So you have to take them out ahead of time and let them cool down. Do you yeah. put them in a wet cloth to cool them down? No, I usually just put them on my table that has my stuff on and let them cool down. Or if I have like a towel, like a dry towel, I'll put them on top. Okay, and the next one they Vibrant. Mm -hmm. Flourish, Radiant. glowing, Healthy. not crusty, yeah. not crusty. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, like, no <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. What I mean to you? Say that. You're only saying that because my eyes were closed. Because you're what? My eyes were closed. <laughs> Guys, I feel brand new. I feel Aww. 16 again. Girl. Oh, <laughs> 16 Just put me in one of your commercials, girl. I'm telling you. Three years ago. Come get your facials go now. Get, yeah, Don't waste no time. time. Book yeah. with her. I can't. You better be saying that on Instagram. He's like, I better come get one of these. These chicken yeah. salads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for his deli. Yeah. Right. So now... Know what I didn't bring, guys? <laughs> moisturizer. Yeah. We have a moisturizer. Who has a moisturizer? The dermatologist. Is this y'all's moisturizer? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Sadly. Mm -hmm. You need it. Yeah. Not after that honey. The honey. The honey will do it for you. Mm -hmm. The honey. 
this in the air like that? Ooh. And let it down. all delicately run through the skin. I'll be. <laughs> Drowning. <laughs> Drowning. <laughs> Drowning. <laughs> Drowning. <laughs> Drowning. Yes. Yes. Y'all coming through. We better. Shoot. Not like we understood. You're just gonna. Terminology 103. Terminology 101. Okay. She said, don't put my name in the video. She just cracked. She's like, yes. And you're all done.